family down. You let your peers down, your coworkers down, you let yourself down. It's never over. As long as you never quit, it's never over. I'm back here. And, um, and, and do your absolute best at it. Give it everything you got. And I don't want to be a fighter. I genuinely love what I do. Hi guys, welcome to Top News Age. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications from Top News Age. Today we're going to look at John Jones Street 26 1. Let's get started. John Jones is an American professional mixed martial artist who is famously known for becoming the youngest champion in the history of UFC at the age of 23. He held the UFC heavyweight champion title from March 2011 to April 2015 and from December 2018 to August 2020. As of October 5, 2021, he is number two in the UFC men's pound-for-pound -pound rankings. He holds many records in UFC's light heavyweight division, which include the most title defenses, most wins, longest win streak, and most submission victories. So far, John won 26 of his fights with only one controversial disqualification against Matt Hamill. Due to intentional elbows, there's been a disqualification of Johnny Bones Jones. Therefore, the In this video, we will tell you about all the fights of John's streak. Let's get started. John Jones vs. Brad Bernard 1-0 John Jones faced Brad Bernard in his very first streak match, which was held on 12 April 2008 in Full Force Productions, Untamed 20. Brad Bernard was also appearing in his second match at that time. Jones' size and strength helped him to tie up Bernard. He took two rounds of five minutes to win the fight on TKO punches. John Jones vs. Carlos Eduardo 2-0 This was the second fight of Jones' streak, which was held on 19 April 2008 in Battle Cage Extreme 4. Carlos Eduardo lost his first match and was very keen to win this one. But Jones proved a little handy on him. Both of them tried their best to win the first two rounds, but couldn't produce the results. In the third round, Jones took only 24 seconds to defeat Carlos on KO punches. John Jones vs. Anthony Pina 3-0 This was the debut match of Anthony Pina, which was held on 25th April 2008 in Ice Fighter. Anthony Pina could not make his debut memorable as he lost from Jones in the very first round. Jones took only 1 minute and 15 seconds of the first round to win the match on Great Own Cho. John Jones vs. Ryan Verrett, 4-0. This fight was held on 9th May 2008 in War in the Woods 3. John Jones proved very strong for Ryan Verrett from the very start of the round. He put down Ryan on the ground in the third minute of the first round, where the referee stopped the fight. He only took 2 minutes and 58 seconds of the first round to defeat Ryan on TKO punches. John Jones vs. Parker Porter 5-0 John Jones and Parker Porter faced each other on 20th May 2008 in World Championship Fighting 3. Parker was full of confidence to face Jones after winning his first two fights. On the other hand, Jones also won all of his first four fights. So the fans were expecting a good contest, but it proved to be one of the easiest fights of Jones' streak. He only took 36 seconds of the first round to win the fight after the referee stopped him from striking. John Jones vs. Moises Gabin John Jones and Moises Gabin match was held on 12th September 2008 in Battle Cage Extreme 5. Jones put the pressure on Gabin from the start of the first round, but somehow Gabin survived it and appeared in the second round, where Jones put him in the cage and won the match on TKO punches after the referee stopped from strikes. John Jones vs. Andre Guzmao 7-0 John Jones and Andre Guzmao were very confident to defeat each other as both didn't lose any of their streak matches so far. Jones won 6 matches while Andre won 5 matches so far without any loss. The match was held on 9th August 2008 in UFC 87 Seek and Destroy. Both of them tried their best in the 3 rounds of 5 minutes but couldn't produce the result. In the end, Jones was unanimously announced as a winner. John Jones vs. Stefan Bonner 8-0 this fight was held on 31st January 2009 in UFC 94, St. Pierre vs. Pan 2. Stefan Bonner looked very strong throughout the match, even when he came out looking for the knockout in the final round when Jones was clearly tired. But somehow, Jones managed to take the fight to the ground and do enough damage to secure the win. The fight continued for three rounds until the decisions were made unanimously. John Jones vs. Jake O'Brien 9-0 John Jones and Jacob Ryan were going to face each other on 11th July 2009 in UFC 100. 
Jones showed control in the majority of the match and secured the victory on modified great own choke. In the first round, both showed great energy but couldn't get any result. Jones was able to move his streak to 9-0 after 2 minutes and 43 seconds of the second round. John Jones vs Matt Hamill, 9-1 This fight was the only loss of John Jones due to disqualification, which was held on 5th December 2009 in the Ultimate Fighter Heavyweight Finale. John Jones was showing great energy from the start of the round, but unfortunately, the referee stopped it at 3 minutes and 55 seconds due to bad knee punches. John Jones vs Brandon Vera, 10-1 After losing the previous fight, John Jones made a great comeback in the UFC Live on vs Vera vs Jones. The fight was held on 21st March 2010 and Jones won it in 3 minutes and 19 seconds of the first round. He put down Brandon on the floor and started TKO punches. After a few seconds, the referee stopped him from strikes and announced him as a winner. John Jones vs Vladimir Matyushenko 11-1. This time John Jones was going to face one of the senior opponents of history, Vladimir, who won 24 matches so far with only 4 losses. It was held on 1st August 2010 in UFC Live Jones vs Matyushenko. As the fight started, Jones put Vladimir in his bag and enjoyed the ground and pound scenarios. After 1 minute and 56 seconds, the referee stopped Jones from strikes and announced him as a winner. John Jones vs Ryan Bader, 12-1. This fight was held on 5th January 2011 in UFC 126, Belfort vs Silva. Jones put Ryan Bader on the ground many times throughout the fight, but somehow Ryan Bader survived the first round. In the second round, John Jones used the Guetone choke submission to win the match at 4 minutes and 20 seconds and moved his streak to 12-1. John Jones vs Mauricio Shogun Rua 13-1 John Jones and Mauricio Shogun Rua's fight took place on 19th March 2011 in UFC 128 Shogun Jones Jones took great advantage of his length and used the combination of flashy punches kicks knees and elbows to finish the fight in style It ended at 2 minutes and 37 seconds of the third round on TKO punches when the referee stopped Jones from a strike John Jones vs Quinton Jackson 14-1 This was the first defense of John Jones' UFC light heavyweight title. The fight was held on 24th September in UFC 135, Jones vs. Rampage. Jones defeated Jackson in the best condition, physically and mentally in the fourth round of the fight. He took great advantage of his height and kept Jackson from finding his range. John Jones vs. Lyoto Machida, 15-1. John Jones and Naoto Machida were going to face each other on 10th December 2011 in UFC 140, Machida vs Jones. This was the second match of Jones' title defense. Instead of his loss, Machida did a tremendous job and made things tough on the champion. His great timing and pinpoint accuracy were very challenging for Jones. However, Jones secured the victory at 4 minutes and 26 seconds of the second round. John Jones vs Rashad Evans, 16-1. John Jones faced Rashad Evans in another title defense match on 21st April 2012 in UFC 145 Jones vs Evans. Evans was more experienced against high competitors and fought with four former champions so far including Chuck Liddell, Forrest Griffin, Lyoto Machida and Rampage Jackson. But Jones kept his nerve and won the match on a unanimous decision after 5 rounds. John Jones vs Vitor Belfort 17-1. This match was held on 22nd September 2012 in UFC 152, Jones vs Belfort. Jones' striking, sound wrestling and big frame proved much for an aging Belfort. Jones ended the fight with key locks submission at 54 seconds of the fourth round. John Jones vs Chael Sonnen, 18-1. John Jones faced Chael Sonnen in another title defense and attacked first with a double leg knockdown and attacked first with a double leg takedown. The fight was held on 27th April 2013 in UFC 159, Jones vs Sonnen. Sonnen tried with landing knees and uppercuts, but Jones took him down and landed one of the elbows on him. This was the start of the raining punches and elbows from Jones, which led the fight towards referee stoppage. John Jones vs Alexander Gustafsson, 19-1. The fight was held on 21st September 2013 in UFC 165, Jones vs Gustafsson which created a stir among the fans on the internet. Gustafsson showed great temperament throughout the fight and stayed in the ring for 5 rounds and felt like a winner.
in the end, Jones was proved a little more for him when the decision was made unanimously in the favour of John. John Jones vs Glover Tashira 21 After the previous close fight, many fans believed that Jones brushed up his mortality, which made him more tentative. This time, he was going to face Glover Tashira on 26 April 2014 in UFC 172, Jones vs Tashira. The UFC champ defeated Tashira in his 20th street fight. He was declared the winner after earning the 50-45 to 45 unanimous decision over the challenger. John Jones vs Daniel Cormier 21-1 Daniel Cormier was clearly the toughest opponent of John Jones' streak. He gave everything to the champion in 25 minutes of action, but couldn't get the result in his favour. The fight was held on 3rd January 2015 on UFC 182, Jones vs Cormier, where Cormier tried his best to maintain his unbeaten 15-0 streak. But after the five rounds of five minutes, Jones was declared the winner on a unanimous decision. John Jones vs Owen St. Cruz 22-1 In this fight, John Jones was making his return to the ring after more than a year. He was going to face Owen St. Cruz on 23rd April 2016 in UFC 197. Jones vs Cornier 2 Jones was more offended in the second round where he put the Owen against the fence by using some elbows. But somehow, Owen survived it and faced Jones till fifth round. Fortunately, Jones continued his winning streak with another win of unanimous decision. John Jones vs Alexander Gustafsson 23-1 This was the second time when John faced Alexander Gustafsson in history. John was going to enter the ring after almost one and a half years on 29th December 2018 in UFC 232. Jones vs Gustafsson 2 This time, the fight ended at 2 minutes and 2 seconds of the second half on KO strike. John Jones vs Anthony Smith 24-1 John Jones and Anthony Smith faced each other on 2nd March 2019 in UFC 235, Jones vs Smith. Anthony Smith was entering the ring with 31 wins and 13 losses, while John only had one loss with 23 wins. Both tried their best to produce the result throughout the five rounds, but in the end, John clinched the victory on unanimous decision. John Jones vs Thiago Santos, 25-1. This was the second win of John Jones of the year 2019, which came on 6th July in UFC 239. It was another tough streak match of Jones as both tried their best in five rounds. But in the end, Jones managed to add another win to his streak with a split decision. John Jones vs Dominic Reyes, 26-1 John Jones became an all-time record holder for the title fight with his recent win over Dominic Reyes. This match was played on 8th February 2020 in UFC 247, Jones vs Reyes, where Dominic proved himself as the toughest test of Jones' entire career. But in the end, judges announced Jones as a winner on a unanimous decision. Hope you enjoyed our video. Please like, comment and share it. See you all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.